You didn't want her to go, did you? No. So she was shooting a video mm. in Miami. Yep. And I had my son and my nephews with me. And, you know, she was very supportive. She particularly liked Freeway, his voice. And she was supportive of anything I was doing. She was like, yo, while I'm in Miami, I had the state property down there, mm -hmm, uh, which yeah. was a group. Yeah. And yeah. she was going to do a record with Freeway. So I was like, all right, I'm going to come down there. I'll check you. I'll bring the kids, make a vacation, work the whole night. So when we got there, you know, Hype was making this video. And I was like, I know Hype. I just got off of uh, Big Pimpin', where I had to cut the video. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm, he likes yep. to spend bread. So I was like, you know he's gonna make you do another day. Don't do it. Trust me, it's just so, so he can spend money, you know? And sure enough, she came on, on that day, you know, there, and I was like, I just thought that it was, uh, it wasn't necessary. You know, I knew that that was gonna happen. And then, when she actually was, uh, saw the plane, she, um, you know, we had the Blackberries, and she said, I don't like this plane. And I was like, well, don't get on it. And she was like, well, I got to because I got work to do. She got on the plane, and she always had a very serious fear of planes in general. Mm -hmm. So she had to overcome a fear to get on that plane on the way there. Um, but what I was really more tight about was that I had heard that Lenny Kravitz had offered her a jet, and that Hype had took the jet. So that's what really pissed me off about the situation when I heard about that. So you could ask Hype about that. That's what I said. Have you ever have you ever talked to Hype? 